it was mm, not traumatic, but it okay. was as curious as the music, you know, for me, you know, and it's, but it's not the sound, it's something in the head. Okay. Yeah, nobody heard it. And it's like a rumble. So it progressed until I, I could, I could actually control it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it happened also, you know, all those years, including 2017 when I was here in Colombia, traveling. From the core of the earth. And this sound accompanied me. No. So I, was, uh, I started to write a movie and then I started to, hey, why, why don't I just incorporate this experience into it? And, and then, then it shrinks. I think the film was the expression of the soundscape in our life, you know, that she, Tilda, mm -hmm. kind of collecting the sound, walking. She walks a lot. To, to uh, almost like a cinema or a microphone to capture image and sound. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, the film is really simple. But, but after we watch it for a while, I, I feel like at least several people told me that it, there's something really sad mm -hmm. about that walk and sad but also peaceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, among this landscape that is not uh, stable, it's, it feels like the movie is like checking all the time mm -hmm. and she's walking. This is probably 6,000 years old. For me, it's, it's, you know, when we were in Cannes, we're celebrating cinema uh, and to celebrate going back to the cinema again. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really a symbolic moment to call for how do you say for people to to look at you know what what's happening oh yes drilled into her head to release bad spirits it's always like this when i make film it's, it's something that is not was not clear until i started to to see people uh, to start to talk about the project and to look for location. And everything start to be a little more focused. And I am lucky to have a good team in, in Bogota and with Tilda also. So I, I, I confess that even when I already shot the whole film, I, I still don't know what I want to, to express. Okay. You know? And that's normal. Yes. It's about sculpting and, and to the end, and, and honestly, I feel, I feel understood, uh, understood. When I start, when we start shooting from the first day, I feel relief because because uh, the team member uh, is almost like a family already you know because we are we are discovering together and i have to depend so much <laughs> on you know the design of this is which i had no idea it's not my culture so i just okay <laughs> show me and you know so, so that, that's really different from what i was used to in thailand when I make films. the idea of uh, let it go and let the people show with you what it's like or, or the palette of, uh, of Colombian, Colombian color. You know, for me it's not about language, but more about the, the pauses and also the, the way that Tudor walks and the, how long each, each place should be in the film. You know, it's, like, it's like sculpting life. So I 
think there's some relation to to designing building designing a film mm-hmm. um, because when I was doing the architecture actually I never practiced I was studying and I, I just felt that it's a really liberation it's quite free you know but I always designed a building that is never practical it's, it's something always conceptual So when I started to study cinema, I was like, uh, "It's a revelation. Like well, this is more free than architecture. It's, it's really mm, uh, personal. You can you can do something very personal." <laughs>